imagine you learn how to play basketball. How do you learn to play basketball? It's quite simple. You get explained that there's a ball and you have to get it up there, in there. So you have to throw it and then you score, you don't. And there's two teams play against each other. Sometimes it's two against two, usually it's more people. So, and then you have to chip the ball. That's what you do, right? You, it's part of the rules, so that you don't keep running like crazy, but you somehow have to coordinate yourself with the ball. And maybe throw it to the other players occasionally. So, and that's it. A very simple explanation of the rules. How do you think you're going to learn how to play, like play basketball? Not the rules, not the like simple thing. No, how do you do that? Take a ball, play with people, maybe alone, take some throws, practice, all sorts of things. Dribbling, um, some endurance sport maybe, like all sorts of... There's so much diverse factors on how you play basketball, right? So, scientific methods, exactly the same. Somebody explains you the rules, you get this in a lecture, um, maybe you read a, a book, paper or something, and then you, you start. Start dribbling, throwing the ball. In the beginning, maybe even not in the same direction, maybe you play with other players. That's how you can get really good, because you learn from them, right? You see what they do. Smaller team of peers. And no one would expect the coach playing with you. Have you ever seen that in a basketball team, the coach is playing with the players, literally? No, he's coaching them. Outside, looking how they play, what they do, what they need to practice. And he tells them what to learn, maybe. That's what he does. That's what a coach does. That's what a teacher does when it comes to scientific methods. So you get the rules, you start practice. If you're lucky, you have someone who occasionally here and there tells you, maybe you should try this, or maybe you should do a little bit more of that, maybe a little bit less of that. And then you compare, and in the end you have the success, you have the success of winning the game. Uh, you just throw and you score. Three-pointer, yes. So all sorts of things. And this is how you learn. This is how you learn basketball. This is how you learn methods. Learn the rules, practice, practice, practice. Go for it.